depending on which field you're in, but if I reflect on my own practice, is part of my self-care is regular check-ins with my therapist. Mm. And I have a supervisor as well. So, you know, that helps me to kind of um, debrief what, because being a human being, mm. responding to other human beings in crisis, mm. it brings our stuff up. You would find that too. Yeah. It has to, mm. right? And so um, for me, I need to be aware of in this moment with this client, is it my stuff, their stuff, or is it our stuff <laughs> that we've created together? Yeah. And I think that if I don't do that, mm. then I'm, I'm not only being less effective, that's, it's actually not safe in lots of ways. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. because um, it can start to become really um, muddled. Yeah. 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 And I bring too much of myself and project too much of myself onto what um, mm -hmm. my client's work is that they need to do in that moment. So I'm really aware of that. And it's part of the practice anyway. Yeah. Uh, but even despite that, or in addition to, to doing that, I do have quite a number of strategies mm -hmm. that I have at hand. But like you, Sometimes I'm less effective yep. at putting them into practice because life gets in the way, mm. and you know, um, and and often uh, it gets to that pointy end where something starts to go awry. <laughs> I either start to feel unwell, or or you know, I'm starting to kind of notice my levels of um, um, anxiety, you mm. know, uh, elevated before I start to put it in practice. Yep. Um, so it's. I have all of those strategies and I think even with self-care, um, the education I do with frontline workers, they know what self-care is. Yeah, exactly. They could list a whole range of things. They know the pillars of self-care and what health looks like, but do they do it? Mm -mm, not a lot of not the time. So much. They don't prioritise it no, no. because they're used to giving. Used to prioritise everything else. Yeah, yeah, being of service. Mm. And so I would like to think if I go to a service mm. and I am actually, um, well, either putting my life in someone's hands or my well-being in someone's hands, I'd like to know that they're looking after them themselves yeah. yeah I think mm. it's really important mm. um, and so perhaps if we as workers in our field reflect on that yeah. then um, because we're not reflecting on just our own self-care it kind of has a meaning attached to it yeah. then we might be more inclined to do it that's the kind of spin I try to put on it and I think patients people. do respond to knowing that everyone's going through this this is not just you this yeah. is not just me yeah this is humans. Yeah. Everyone's going to go through this at some point mm. and that you're not alone and you're not failing because you're feeling this way or you're not coping mm. um, and that, you know, we all need to acknowledge the need for self-care, yeah. the need to have strategies in your pocket for when there's a crisis and and, and not, be, not be sort of, I guess, in denial or embarrassed or yeah. whatever that emotion might be for different people. Yeah. Um, mm. You were talking about something which made me think about um, junior doctors and stress and all those sorts of things. And I thought about when patients die or when things go wrong. Mm. And we're never really trained. I mean, we are trained to breaking bad news and, you know, what to do in this situation, what to do in that situation. But I think, too, for junior doctors when they come into the workforce, is there the whole lot of things that have been theoretically presented to them, but when they actually happen for the first time, it's actually pretty stressful mm. and sad. And because, mm. you know, the registrar or the consultant might go, oh, yeah, so-and-so's passed away, let's go talk to the relative, mm. it's all very business-like, mm. they assume that that's the way it's going to be for them or it should be for them initially. But the only reason it's more, not it's, it's never business-like, it's always sad. Yeah. Um, it might appear to be, though, because you've, developed a way of looking after people and and feeling sad but not taking all of that home with you every yeah. time um but those sorts of things in mm. in helping adjustment from you know school to uni to workforce are probably things that mm. you know could potentially be done better yeah.